The ancient Romans were able to build a great empire that began with the establishment of the city of Rome on the Tiber River, and over time it dominated regions of the European continent, in addition to parts of the Middle East and Africa, and its control extended from Spain to Iraq, from England to Egypt, and from southern Russia to Morocco, and this civilization and empire had a prominent impact on the various peoples of the areas they controlled and were able to maintain their prosperity and development for about a thousand years, and the Romans were able to manage their sprawling empire through the adoption of an effective bureaucracy, and the processing of an organized and disciplined army. History of Ancient Rome The founding of Ancient Rome began in 753 BC by King Romulus, according to some legends. With the passage of time, this city developed into a republic ruled by the Senate and the Roman people in 509 BC. During the next 450 years, Rome was able to expand in Italy and France, Spain, Turkey, North Africa, Greece, and the Roman Empire began in the year 31 BC under the leadership of Augustus as its emperor, after the collapse of the republic due to civil war, where a new political system was established so that the emperor's kings later could expand the borders of the state to include regions the Mediterranean, Britain, and most of northern and central Europe and the Near East at the end of the first century AD. The economic crisis, some wrongdoings of the emperor's rulers, and the barbaric invasion of Roman lands contributed to the empire's weakness and its division into two halves, eastern and western, and the western empire collapsed with the invasion of the Mongols. The eastern empire followed in the 15th century. Tourism in Rome, the capital of the Roman Empire, which controlled vast parts of the European continent and the Mediterranean in the past, is the Italian capital and the first destination in tourism in Italy, which is replete with Roman historical monuments such as the huge Colosseum, in addition to high-end and popular markets and distinctive Italian restaurants. Visiting Rome in the winter is an experience that you should not miss, dear traveler, as the Italian capital is one of the most beautiful cities in Europe, and have many wonderful attractions that attract huge crowds of tourists. Especially during the summer, which you can avoid by visiting in the cold months. Declining tourist numbers aren't great news for airlines, hoteliers or tour agencies, but it's great news for you, with shorter queues, less crowded museums, and easier restaurant reservations compared to summer, making winter Rome a great opportunity to visit and enjoy. The temperatures in Rome in winter are relatively mild with temperatures around 12 degrees Celsius so it is certain that you will not freeze when visiting Rome in winter, but that does not mean not packing a warm coat, hat, scarf and appropriate shoes when traveling to Rome at this time of year. General It rarely snows in Rome, maybe once a year, so don't plan a winter trip to Rome, expecting to see the Colosseum covered in white snow. Head outside with your camera and start taking pictures right away. Even though Rome is in the far south, you don't need to strategize what you can do around daylight hours as in northern European cities like Oslo during the winter, you still have about 9 to 10 hours of daylight each day, with the sun sets before 5 p.m., so if you're hoping for photos during the day when visiting Rome in winter, plan accordingly. Best places to stay during winter in Rome for the most part, deciding where to stay during winter in Rome isn't much different than deciding where to stay in Rome during the rest of the year except that everything will be much cheaper. We just recommend that you stay as central as possible in the city, to reduce the amount of time you'll need to roam the streets in the cooler temperatures. When you visit Rome, a visit to the Vatican is a must. If you choose to visit this historical landmark in the winter, you are more than likely to have a fun excursion. Visiting the Vatican during the off-season means the number of tourist crowds drops dramatically, however, Keep in mind that there are there is a huge increase in the number of tourists between Christmas and January 6, so even in winter, you'll also need to buy tickets in advance to take advantage of skipping the queues. Go to opera if you are looking for an authentic entertainment experience, then the opera is the place for you, as Italy has some of the most famous opera singers in the world. Whether you are a fan of music or not, an evening at the opera is an unparalleled Italian experience. For many travelers, 
the best time to visit Rome means the cheapest time, and with Italy being a popular tourist destination all year round, especially during the high summer and New Year season, autumn can be the best time to visit for budget-conscious travelers. And if you're wondering why Rome in the fall is better for those looking for budget travel, it's because of the low prices and emptiness of hotels, the ease of finding cheaper flights and discounted accommodation rates. Enjoy a quieter Rome with fewer crowds. The 1st of September means that Roman locals return to the city after the August holidays, with fewer tourists. So if you prefer solitude as possible in Rome, the best months to visit are October and November. With the school season back and the tourists leaving, which means you'll be able to get around the city better with chances of discovering the city's local core. Entrance to the sites will surely be much shorter compared to the summer, and you will have a pleasant, quiet, and unforgettable holiday. Autumn is the best time to visit Rome, as the food is the best during this time of the year. During the first and second weekends of October, head to Soriano Melchimino, located a few kilometers north of Rome, for the Chestnut Festival, where you can try chestnuts and dozens of different recipes over the course of two weeks, as well as many other festivals such as the Truffles and Grapes Festival. Experience the best temperatures when visiting Rome in the fall unless you really like high temperatures, summer can be a bit uncomfortable for you in Rome. If you want a beautiful and pleasant climate, then autumn is definitely the best time to visit Rome, as this magical time of the year represents mild temperatures even during the day. Although early September may also see temperatures as high as summer, they begin to drop in late September through mid-November, providing fun days perfect for sightseeing. Amidst the splendor of the pleasant climate, autumn in Rome is the perfect time to explore the city in the great outdoors with its unforgettable attractions. Visitors can enjoy the changing colors of autumn taking a long stroll in the gardens of Villa Borghese, having a hot drink in the garden cafe, walking among the colorful leaves, or just taking a stroll to enjoy the fresh autumn air. Another great way to enjoy autumn is to cycle along the Via Appia, Rome's first motorway, with stunning vistas and unforgettable views. If you're in Rome in October, head to Via dei Coronari, in the historic center, for a wander through the old market that takes place there during every weekend of the month. Even if you are not interested in buying antiques, we definitely recommend you visit this market to enjoy the splendor of the festive atmosphere and the beautiful pieces of Rome's past. October also means the annual Rome Film Festival which this year takes place from 16 to October 24th and includes the premiere of a range of films. 